with the M for Magic Bloodstock. Hugh Bowman and Winks have been on this journey together through track work and trials. And this is the build-up to another preparation coming off that amazing and historic fourth Cox Plate win. She's ready to keep this streak going and this, this number is unthinkable. 30 she's going for in a row. Right, the light is on for day one of the farewell tour of Winks. Perfection. You never want this to end. God, we wish it, it wouldn't end. But one day it will. So for the time being, we are going to cherish every moment. Few moment and weeks. The star of the show lit it here again. And that is 30 straight. Well, she was the last out of the gates, but boy, you can throw a handkerchief over them out of the barriers. Who's going to lead here? Tom Melbourne's pushing forward. Patrick Arena, happy clappers, very handy. Egg tight out deep. Winks going between them. Then came Aloisi of the rails. Brigham rocks and unforgotten is the last one. Tom Melbourne's obliged to go forward and take the lead. He draws a length in front now. If happy clapper will get some cover. Egg tight goes to third. Then Patrick Aaron fourth the rails. Winks is one off the fence, so she can start a trouble from there on the outside of Aloisia. Then unforgotten and. And Brimham Rocks is the last one, 7.50 out. Tom Melvin, the front runner, the eight-year-old happy clapper. He's inching closer, going to the 600 metres. He wants to try and pinch a bit of a march on the chap. Happy clapper really turns it on to Tom Melvin. Then Egg Tart, Patrick Aaron, and Winks is four lengths away as they come around the turn. Tom Melvin, the inside of happy clapper. Stride for stride, Egg Tart third. Winks is starting to chime into it. Bowman still sits pretty at the furlong, happy clapper. Clapper, clipper and goes for home, but here she comes now, Winks. She just saddles up on the outside, takes the lead and draws away again. Age shall not bury the champ. Once again, she's haughty and imperious. Winks makes it a third Apollo Stakes, two links to Happy Clapper. Photo third, Iktart, Patrick Aaron, then come unforgotten. Tom Melbourne weakened out from Eloise. I read a quote in uh, one of the uh, stories that the, the crowd goes with Huey. As Huey starts to ask Winks to extend, the crowd goes with her jockey and the horse, Duff and Lizzie. I think that sums it up. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Darren there, I, we don't want to get him horny and imperious for another three runs yet. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got to keep her on the track here. <laughs> then, <laughs> I think he said haughty. Oh, haughty, was yes. it? Oh, sorry. I'm, I, miss, I, miss quite, I misquoted, <laughs> that was, Darren. That was a lot of... A lot of <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she just brained them with sectionals again. You know, she just scorched home there in sizzling time, and that's her trait. And uh, even as she gets older, you think, oh, is 1,400 going to be too short for her now? And uh, does she want a mile first up? No. She just uh, she just adapts to every situation. And Bowman just give her that custom, you know, big slap. One run, just one down the shoulder to say, it's not trial day, it's race day. Away we go, girl. And... Uh, 
it was just pretty to watch Lizzie. Yeah, well once you did that, it's almost instantly that you see that she gets her head down, she gets that daisy cut action and she is just upside, happy clapper all of a sudden. She goes past egg tight, you know, she, she just lengthens and then he's like, whoa, steady. He didn't realise that she was going to jump into the bridal so quickly. She, I, I think she's going as well as ever. I mean, he was, she was eased down and she was only a margin outside of the track record. So she's absolutely flying and she's a credit to Chris Waller. You have to, you have to talk about Chris. I mean, the way Chris has managed this mayor and his incredible. team has been absolutely, absolutely incredible. Absolutely. Um, you will hear from other trainers say that, that how difficult that would be. Um, and he's just, he's just done it. Yes, he's learnt from her, but he had that in him before he got Winx. Um, you just hope that um, you get a trouble-free run, safe run, they come home safe. And position look she just showed how good she is and um, that's what everybody wants to see and it's becoming more of that look making sure that the fans from worldwide now get to see her and at her best and she certainly was today first up oh, I guess every race is a little different in its own way the first race is always hard the grand final is always hard and, and um, it's pretty hard just very proud simple as that I can't say much more than that without getting emotional <laughs> She's great for racing. Today's race was the most important race probably of, her, of almost her career. So seeing her come back like that, the natural improvement will be there for two weeks' time will be the plan, the Chipping Norton. And um, last year we didn't have the beauty of having a first up run. She went straight into it. So look out two weeks time you know we expected something like that today but as i said during the week until we get her here under race conditions you really never know until the until she's put under competitive environment which she was today and I, after i rode her here last saturday morning it really gave me the confidence that she was back and she was ready to race and uh, she certainly franked those thoughts this afternoon. I wasn't expecting to see Patrick Aaron go across in front of me. I'm scratching my head thinking, Sam, <laughs> really? Anyway, uh, as the race unfolded, it was, a, it was a nice even pace set by Tom Melbourne and Glenn Schofield. And um, the position I was in, I thought, well, I'm in, I, I, I'm in distance from Happy Clapper, even if he runs a, a career best race, which I probably didn't expect today, but I still had a healthy respect for him. And, I was able to pull her out. It was a very smooth run, run for us. I was able to let her go through her gears without forcing the issue. And uh, when I asked her for a full effort at the 200 metre mark, yeah, the, the result was there for everyone to see. Well, I'm numb today. I oh, just probably just the pressure, you know, this the comeback and whether he made the right decision or not. So uh, he sort of built up inside a fair bit this week, but uh, certainly. Um, she just does it every time, I and mean, like I say, I don't know why we ever worry. She just seems to be head and shoulders above them. Mate, you could hear them at the 200, the 300. They just, they were, they were roaring for her, you know, like she was coming home like she always does. The crowd was roaring, we were cheering, like it's just a great feeling.